Happy Halloween, everyone. It is October 18th, and we're doing a Halloween special from October 1st to October 31st. Now, we do have a guest on the TikTok Live at the moment. Go ahead and introduce yourself, and we'll go from there. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Ruby, and I'm actually from Fresno. I'm here with my boyfriend, and he has some experiences he wants to share. Ooh. Yeah, I used to go to uh, Roosevelt. I graduated 2021, but right before like COVID hit, it was my what is it sophomore year and i had taken uh i got put in a fashion class which was odd for me but i think in the end it was all right because i got to explore more of the school because you know they deal with theater and you know making the costumes for the for the plays and stuff so i was sent on my own to the under the stage where they store costumes and that place was really weird just weird it was so dark and they have like a room full of mirrors where the people get dressed for the place and the switches for the lights are in there so i had to walk through the dark to get in there to turn on the lights and just the whole time there it was like just so weird it, it felt like there was someone behind me the whole time and i mean i heard all about like the leslie chambers thing and how you know they include him on the name of the place so I think I didn't know about that at the time. So when I found out about it after, it was just really crazy. And then um, the third floor that was also used as a storage for the play play costumes. I got sent up there a couple of times with several people. And um, one thing I found out about there is that you go up to the third floor, but there's also a second um, stairwell in there that leads to just up wooden plank and from there on i don't know what it leads to we tried to figure out like sticking our phones through the cracks of it and couldn't see anything and off the top of my head i can't think of where it would lead with all the other classrooms of, of the building it was so weird he's also been in the hospital right next to roosevelt actually i didn't know him back in high school like, I didn't go to Roosevelt. I went to Duncan. That's why I was asking if, like, you, you knew anything about that. But um, he was just telling me not that long ago about his experiences and how he actually, snack, like, got managed to get in the hospital before it was, like, fenced up and all that. And, like, there's some weird stuff that he, he would tell me. What did he tell you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the first time that I went there, I had gone with a couple of people. And we were able to get in by stacking a bunch of like trash to get up on top of the second floor through a window. And well, once we got in there, there's just like a bunch, just a bunch of like files all over the ground, broken glass. And like, I'm surprised by how much like was left behind. It was like still really full of just like hospital equipment i don't know it was really weird and um we didn't stay there that long because another group of kids came by and like broke a really big window and made a lot of noise and the cops came so we we left but after that i went on my own with my family members we got in through another window but there's like this like court yard on the back side of the hospital not yes. by the main street and if, there's a stairwell that goes down to like a little garden area and through there there's like this really big ventilation pipe we climbed up on there and we ended up inside of a boiler room <gasps> and um it was weird because the there was only one door in there and it was sealed from the other side where we we found a big metal bar to like open the door and then once we got to the other side of the door it, which this is probably the weirdest thing to me out of all things i was recording on my phone that day oh, uh -huh. and once we got to the other side there was like the best way i could describe it is like a parking garage but the thing is there's obviously no parking garage down there it's just these like really big cement pillars and just like nothing like nothing i'm not sure if they were like building something there with like construction or something but <sighs> I don't know. And then while I was recording, like my phone was fully charged and everything. And my phone died on the spot. So I do not have a video of it, sadly. But it was really strange. And then from there, we know it led to another staircase, which led to like the main floor of the hospital. 
And from there, we ended up getting out through like one of the emergency exits. You're able to get out because it was uh, wasn't chained good. So you just like squeeze through the bottom of the chain. But yeah, that's about it. It was weird because the whole time when you're in there, there's broken glass everywhere. And as you're walking down the halls, you can hear like the glass crackling behind you. Like if someone else is like walking behind you. I mean, it's probably just like since you stepped on it, it's probably still cracking or something. But to me, it just sounded like there was someone behind us the whole time. It's weird. But yeah, I think that's all I got about the hospital. I know like plenty of other people went in there during my time in high school. So we just go there like right after school and like mess around and stuff. Dude, that was scary. That was scary. Yeah, there it some was. High school students that did a YouTube channel about that when they when they when they went inside there. Yeah, I heard about that too. But and then like not not long after I graduated, they finally like fenced it up, and since then it's just been like impossible to get in because they got the security patrolling it. But I've tried. And uh, nothing. I don't think it'd be possible to get back in there, sadly. Mm -mm. They have to, they have the city, the city police officers driving around, and then they have a private security inside the fence area. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, I used to have a lot of videos and stuff of me in there, but I don't have the phone that I used to have back then. I it's know. All <laughs> but I, I thought it was really cool to go in there before it closed down, and it's just like, I can probably say, like, I think for sure it's probably haunted. But just nothing that scary happened to me while I was there. Besides hearing the glass behind me. But. And I'm saying disrespectfully, isn't it crazy how that's the one place you don't want to go. But now that we know it's haunted, you want to go. Yeah. You know, I wish they would have, like, opened it up as an attraction for at least, like, a little bit. But I guess, yeah, it's probably dangerous for people to be in there. Ooh. All right, well, thank well, you for um, letting us talk here. <laughs> no, of course. And thank you guys for joining the Halloween special for October 18th. But with that being said, bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys, that was scary. La Poncha, did you hear that? La Poncha, how did you feel about the situation that they were talking about? Because I'm freaking out. Wow. <laughs> that was so cool. And what he went through and everything like when he went in there there's a lot of stories i've seen a lot of videos about people going in there like teenagers and stuff like that and it's amazing like a lot of people have their own like their own p point of view you know what i mean we need to be honest i need a part two for that yes. the the roosevelt story was scary how he told us about the plank i was like a plank what do you mean like it's leading over to something and he said how it goes he tried to put his phone through the wall you know and then the other one was um, the auditorium where he went down the little trap door and then how he brought up the UMC where he was talking about how he went there. Dude, I would want to experience that. I know it sounds crazy, but I would want to be there to see what happened. Do you know what I mean? Yes, it's exciting, but at the same time, I don't think we're going to get permission. <laughs>